So today I will be discovering the beach side of Punta Cana. So my first Punta Cana video I did downtown. Today we're going to be doing a beach adventure here. Now I messed up and I routed my Uber driver to a coffee shop that happened to be in a resort. You need to be staying at the resort to get to the coffee shop. The Uber driver was so cool. He's like, let me just take you to the beach. So he ended up taking me to, uh, I don't know how to uh, say the name, but there are two beaches. There's Playa, Playa Bavaro, and, but he ended up taking me to Bibi Yaga. And so that's where I am now. What's up, man? No, 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 I'm good, thank you. So I'm at Playa Bibaga, and I need to get food and I need to get coffee. So this is where I'm at. Chaotic start to my, my day here in my video, but it's like two o'clock and I've not had coffee, so that's kind of where I'm at as well. So looks like we got good food here. Looks like we got lots of things going on, but let's take a look at this beach. Maybe I get a cafe somewhere. I do have to say just as I'm walking here to this beach, the um, art here in, in the Dominican Republic is incredible. So many talented artists here. I saw it in Santo Domingo and I've now been seeing it. I'm now seeing it here in Punta Cana. So we've got all sorts of shops down here. Get Punta Cana souvenirs. But let's see what this beach is about. And I'm just realizing I once again do not have sunscreen. Looks like we've got a gift shop. Okay. Oh, oh, here's a beachside restaurant maybe. Oh, let's do this. I'm sure I can get some cafe here. But let's take a look at this beach first, guys. Oh my god. The water is just insanely blue. It's like a turquoise color. Wow. Look at this. Uh, boats here kind of gives it a nice vibe. And I think I'll probably end up just after I get some calories in me. What I'll end up doing is I'll just walk all the way down to Pla Playa Bavaro. I think I can do that from here. Actually, the, the it's not a really bad. It's not a bad day temperature-wise. All right, I'm gonna go get some food. Okay, so they have the americano. This is what I need right now. I need to save save myself. And then it's like really good food here as well chicken quesadilla and Americano. I have not had a quesadilla while I've been in Latin America, so it's about time. Ah, I need this. Ah, ah yes, so good. Got an insane amount of music here, but this quesadilla looks so good. Let's give this a shot. Take a look at this, we've got art on the beach here as well. Like I said, the artists here in the DR are just, I don't know if you can see it because of the sun, but just incredible artists here. All right, so that was the Novo Beach Club, which is right here. And uh, quesadilla wasn't bad, a little dry, but uh, I needed calories and uh, I want to eat more, so decided to go appetizer. Anyway, let's uh, dip our feet in the water here, see what the water feels like. I'll tell you what, it looks really nice. Like visually, it looks really nice. And this whole beach is just stunning, absolutely stunning. Uber driver said he liked this beach better, but Bavaro I think is the more popular one. And again, what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna walk down the beach here until we get to Bavaro, and I'm gonna get sunburned, and that's okay. Uh, temperature wise it's beautiful here not too hot nice breeze going so yeah nice start to my uh, Punta Cana beach adventure here so hope you're here for it make sure you hit subscribe most of you are not subscribed and really appreciate it it's free it really helps me out helps the channel grow and yeah, let's go guys all right let's feel this water so what it's like uh the water is like the same color as Boracay in the Philippines. Absolutely beautiful color to this water here. And uh, take my sandies off here. I'm just making them words as I go. Ah, oh, 
temperature check. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Oh, the water feels perfect, guys. Oh. So I didn't bring a, so I'm a contact wearer. So when I go in the water, I have to wear goggles if I want to see what's in the water. Really, I should just be wearing goggles anyway. But I didn't bring that with me here today. I really just wanted to check out the beach. Because I'm traveling solo, I don't want to leave anything open on the beach here. Just an extra level of precaution. I've already been scammed in the DR. <laughs> so, but the water is whew, perfect temperature. Absolutely perfect, so. Let's take a walk down this beautiful beach here. Looks like you can hire boats here as well. I'm sure you can get into some really nice snorkeling here in Punta Cana. But this is an extremely popular beach destination. Many people from my country, America, come here to all-inclusive resort stays, all of that sort of uh, experience. Um, definitely going to pay up for something like that. Certainly over $200 a night. So I think it can be worth it, especially if you like to drink and just you're here on a holiday. I think that, that, that $200 price point could be really worth it, but most of them are like 500, or a lot of them are like in the 500 price point. Which, honestly, for all-inclusive, maybe that's not so bad. Ah, look, we've got soccer nets up here too. Play some soccer on the beach, that'd be fun, right? Beautiful, beautiful trees here. You know what? I think a coconut is in order. I think I'm gonna need to get myself a coconut. Yeah, definitely gonna have to find one of those. Okay guys, well I basically just walked past Playa Bavaro Beach, Bavaro Beach. Uh, so that, this is basically the stretch of Bavaro Beach. To me, it's not much different than where I just was. There's less boats. Um, so I'm gonna keep walking down here. It looks like there's a bunch of shops and stuff. But let's see what else is in this area. All right, let me get the old uh, Zapatos here cleaned off. So you can see the Bavaro beach here. Playa Bavaro. Looks nice. Looks like we have some sort of like square here. I don't know what else. Walking area here. We're gonna walk all around here. See what there is. I gotta say, outside of the crowd, that is one of the most beautiful beaches I've ever walked down. In terms of the color of the water, feeling of the sand, the weather here is just absolutely perfect not too roasting hot very very beautiful beach and this area seems to be super nice guys very clean lots of resorts here i would say this is very much also a family destination by my estimation as i've been walking around i do see some younger people but very heavy family de destination it seems all right so Disco Bavaro, Casino Bavaro restaurants, spa, and then a theater as well. Looks like you can also get into some bowling here. Man, I haven't gone bowling in, I don't know, 10 years. We got Santa Fe Steakhouse, uh, coffee, rum, and cigar lounge bar. That might be fun. We'll go there. Let's see what's down here. We got a sports bar over here. Oh yeah, coincidentally today is the Super Bowl. So that sports bar is probably crazy right now. We're not going in the casino, that's for sure. If you watch my Las Vegas series, I'm not a casino guy. <laughs> I do not get lucky in casinos. Some people do, I do not. I have to say this is really nice. I don't know if this is like part of a resort or like a shopping mall. I don't know what this is, but I love the vibe here. Oh, very cool. Look at this. Got the wings here as well for Instagram, if that's your thing. And uh, this Kyoto Japanese restaurant is very highly rated. The problem is it does not open until 6. But that is something I wanted to go to. We'll see if I'm still here by then. So let's see what else is here gift shop down there. 
And we've got some resorts up here. I guess this is part of a resort. Okay, so this is the Punta Cana that I'm thinking of. When I hear, when I hear Punta Cana, this is what I think of. I can see why. This is a huge, huge tourist destination. Here's this coffee, rum, and cigar center. Looks like it might not be open. No cigar. Not open. That's okay. And we'll go down to that sports bar. Cigars are not on the bingo card here. For me, it's probably a good thing, right? I do have to say the Dominican rum is very, very good. I had some of that in Santo Domingo. It's very smooth. Let's take a look at this gift shop here. Oh, doesn't this look cool? It would be a great souvenir piece to put in your living room. That Punta Cana license plates here as well. Playing cards, plastic souvenir stuff here. See here, three US dollars. By the way, many places here simply accept US dollars. You don't necessarily need to have pesos. In fact, I don't think I've been to a place that doesn't accept US dollars here. Okay, so let's have a seat here. Okay, actually that was a buffet. I'm assuming it's connected to the resort or something like that. I don't know. So I'm gonna see where I'm gonna go from here, guys. All right, I've decided that's more of a resort area. I think you like have to have a card to eat at those places. So I'm gonna walk back to the beach and see if I can find like a beachside bar and we'll go from there. Look at this Barcelo tram it seems. That's pretty sick. Oh, there's Tano Bar. Seems like it's probably connected to the resort. So my recommendation is if you're not staying on a resort here in Playa Bovaro, there might not be much for you to do here <laughs> other than where I was before, which is a different beach. So obviously if you're somebody who likes to lay out, this will be a great place for you to come. But so like eating, drinking, seems mostly resorts, like, like reserved for people who are staying at the resorts. So something to consider. We're gonna turn this day around somehow. I might just find myself a bar to watch the Super Bowl and take you with me, we'll see. Uh, yeah, so you have to be a staying at the resort to go here. All right, so we're gonna keep walking. Let's go, guys. Okay, so I'm back at Bibi Yaga, Bibi Yagua. So this is where I started the video. I have to tend to agree with my Uber driver. I like this better. <laughs> yeah, you can come here and take advantage of everything. So, why don't we, I'm either gonna walk that way more, see what's down that way. Maybe find myself a beverage. Coconut would be ideal. Let's see what else is here. All right. Maybe I can find a coconut here. Hola. Hola. Uh, good. Uh, do you have coconut? Coconut. Okay. Frio or temperatura? Oh. Oh, frio, frio. Okay. Frio means cold. I know that.
It's actually super, super good. Yum. And it's Frio. All right, so those of you who've been following me for a long time know I always get a coconut where I go. And I have to say, this is probably the sweetest coconut I've ever had. I never thought I'd say that. Mm. Oh my God, it's so good. So it does seem like this section of the beach is where you get like tours, like diving tours and stuff like that, but I actually quite prefer it to the other one. So you will get hassled for ganja here. So many people have been asking me to buy, it's kind of annoying. No judgments if you like to do that. Let's see if I can get access to this restaurant. Sit out here, have a drink, that might not be a bad idea. Okay, so I was like, how much? He was like, I, I don't know, $5? I'm like, okay, $5. So I don't know if this is like part of a resort or what, but we're gonna sit right here and we're gonna have a $5 Presidente. Honestly, I probably could have just got this for free, but I'm not like that, you know? I don't know. All right, guys, I'm going to get an Uber back, and then there's a sports pub right next to my hotel, so let's go there. Actually, the East Coast is an hour behind DR, so the Super Bowl doesn't start for a while, but we'll see if we catch any. All right, guys, back at the hotel here. What a nice day walking around at the beach there in Bavaro and the other place. But now, I think I'm gonna walk over to this pub here because I am very hungry. All I've had is a quesadilla, what is it? A uh, quesadilla, quesadilla. <laughs> Excuse my gringo-ness. But last night, let me tell you, I don't know what was happening, but there was like club music playing all night and I'm like, in a place where there's like not much going on. I don't know if it was at my hotel. There's like no disco or club there. Maybe it was over here. I don't know. But it was crazy, guys. <laughs> okay, so right over there's my hotel. There's an Ikea over there, which is pretty sick. I might go in there because I've been to like three Ikeas in three countries. Might as well make it four. Then we have Noah, which seems like a really cool spot. And then this is El Poop, the pub somewhere around here. Or maybe we just go to Noah, I don't know. Okay, new plan, we eat at Noah, and then maybe I'll go over to the pub over there and uh, see if they have the game on. Let's take a look at the menu here. So we got sushi here. Oh, not had sushi in a while. You know what, pizza and Super Bowl Sundays just go together, right? So they have a wood oven selection of pizzas here. I'm gonna get a pizza. I'm going for it. Oh my gosh, it's so funny. So I'm going with a Presidente regular. I've only been drinking Presidente lights, but I wanna try the regular. And the very funny server said, Dominican water. So yes, Presidente, Dominican water. I love it. All right, so let's compare the uh, Dominican, or the Presidente light to the uh, Presidente. Dominican water. I don't know, I think it's so funny. All right. It's a good vibe here, guys. The restaurant is called Noah. Cheers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's very good. I think I like the light better, but that's typically my preference anyway in any beer. But I'd probably go with the light, but this is very similar, obviously. Mm -hmm. Good. So here's what we're looking at. Looks like we got some probably maz and then some other type of cheese, maybe Parmesan on it. Just came, so I'm gonna give it a second to cool down here. But it smells really good, it looks really good. Guys, let's give this a shot. The crust is really good. But you can tell it's wood fired. It does have a really good flavor. The two types of cheeses really work well together. Mm, this is good. 
see if they have the game on here. I don't know. No, they do not. I have the Chiefs winning, by the way. So we'll see if I'm right. This video will come out much after the Super Bowl. So we'll see if I'm right, guys. All right, guys. Well, my lucky day. I was able to find an English channel <laughs> that has the Super Bowl on. And I just went down and I got a few beers here. So let's try Canita Rubia. It's from Punta Cana. I wanted the light, but they didn't have it. I don't even know if I'll drink this. It's like a brown ale. I don't really like brown ale. Anyway. It's also playing out there in the lobby. It's very crowded and it's in Spanish, so I'm gonna watch it here. Thank you so much for being here, and I will certainly be talking to you again soon. Peace.